Hello everyone and welcome back to my guinea pig channel. So today I'm going to be doing a room tour. I'm going to be doing a full room tour. I'm going to be showing you absolutely everything that there is for this room, showing you inside the drawers, showing you literally every single bit, why I've got certain things. Um, let's just get right into the video. So this is one of the bedrooms that we had in our house, but I decided to turn it into a guinea pig room. Um, so as you can see, there is plenty of space to come into. I wanted my own space, so it was easier for me to clean cages, etc. Um, and just come in and sit with the guinea pigs. So I'm going to start from this side and work our way around. So obviously in here, I have seven guinea pigs in this cage. This is a three by seven a three by seven cage so i will start with my guinea pigs so if you are new to this channel let me introduce you to my guinea pigs this one here is dumbo he is my original piggy uh, he's neutered and the rest are females so we've got fauna we have flower we have daisy we have mini dumbo hey hey and Pigla is just chilling under there. She's a teddy and yeah, she's hiding. So we'll leave her to it. But um, yeah, so these are my guinea pigs that are in this cage and that is seven of them. They are all related. Um, and if you want to know more in depth of that, then check out the Meet Dumbo, Meet Daisy guinea pig videos. And I'm going to be doing more with individual guinea pigs. So you can just learn a bit about their background. My goodness, Fauna. <laughs> she's just making a racket. Right. So... There is, in this cage, we have a hay box. Now, I've made this out of Cool Rex. We've also used um, some book binders, I think that's what they're called. And we've got them um, all around so that they cannot chew any of the Cool Rex. Um, and then, obviously, we have puppy pee pads underneath. Now, I recommend wood shavings to anyone who can use them. Luckily, my guinea pigs do not chew the puppy pee pads, so we are lucky. However... I am allergic to the wood shavings. It makes me really, really reactive and um, sneezy and my chest goes. And obviously that is not great. Um, but also I find that they are very, very messy. So it needs regular maintenance. So I'm constantly changing out these puppy pee pads. Um, and so, yeah, I do recommend salt wood shavings or um, anything like that if you can do. But I have used pee pads because that is the best for me and for the guinea pigs they don't eat them so that's all great gotta just clear that up but they have hay which i get from a local farmer so we get that it is in huge bulks it's literally a whole bale of hay and it's really really cheap and it's really really good um it really is i do recommend getting hay from a local farmer if you can do um it does just make it a lot cheaper and also it's very very fresh oh okay well done dumbo sort them out <laughs> It's very, very fresh. Um, and so, yes, so we've got that hay. Um, they have a hay holder. Now, I just keep that in there. It keeps the hay fresh that's in there. Then I have a wooden bridge. A lot of people have asked me about this before. Um, this wooden bridge was made by my dad. Um, I actually asked if he can make me one because I've seen them before. Usually, you can put these this way, come in from that way. Or you can have them um, coming this way. But I've decided to put them like that because they don't really use them. They like to just sleep underneath. So I've given them a bit of extra hidden... There's holes in them. Like you can see Hey Hey's just came through that lead into here. So I've left it like that for now. Gives them more space um, and they can sleep underneath them too and just be really hidden. So that's what I've done. They also don't use the top bit. Um... I've tried everything, they're not feeling like using the top bit, I might eventually get something added on to these ramps to try and help them get up, but for now, they're not using the top bit, um, and so they just like the bottom bit, so we've left it in there. We have wooden bridges, they're both from Pets at Home, um, and they absolutely love them, they chew them, they hide under them, I just think they're really good. Um, our food bowls are from Pets at Home, I don't recommend the food that's in them, um, I'm not even going to mention what it is, we tried a nice brand of mixed up food instead of pellets and they don't like it so we're going to be swapping to pellets very soon but we do just need to get rid of this bag i don't want to waste food so they are still having it they're eating it but they're very picky with it so they do leave quite a bit we have this ball from pets at home you put pea flakes in it um they absolutely love that um my bath mats and everything like that i get from asda in the uk or I get them from Tesco. I find that they're really good. However, this one is from B&M. Um, and it's a bigger one. So it's quite thick. Which I think is better for heavier areas that they like to have a wee. So this is definitely an area. Because it's near their hay. 
Then I've got pee pads underneath. So these are fleece lap pads, but I use them as pee pads underneath the um, wooden bridge on each side. As you can see, Hey Hey is just modeling that one for you <laughs> then over here let me just get over there oh i've also got bottles um i have two water bottles both from pets at home um and then over here i have got two of these houses i've got a small one and a big one both from pets at home i've got a little um fleece corner um i think they're called forest fleece forests and then i've got a cuddle cup underneath that they sleep in so that's their sort of cozy corner and then under here i have got a so it's a huge cuddle sack for them usually two can get in Ooh, one of them's moved that over the top so a couple of them have used that but i've got this the huge fleece liner underneath and fleece forest is all new and it is recently been purchased from a lady from Etsy. Now I cannot remember what her name or her Etsy is. If anyone wants to know please comment down below or message me on Lucy's Guinea Pigs on Instagram and I can find out and let you know. Um, but yeah I absolutely love my fleece liners. I think they look so so pretty. Now a new thing that I've done which I'm going to turn the lights off for as you can see. I have fairy lights all underneath this cage which I'm obsessed with. In the evening, it makes it look so pretty. The whole room is lit up, really just like white lights and pretty. Underneath here is very nice. Um, and I just thought it was a good thing for in the evenings, just turn them on, but I have turned them on for this video so you could see them. Underneath this cage, I also have my boxes. Now, the CNC grids, by the way, these ones are from Cavi, um, and I can't remember what one I got, but basically these ones are from Cavi, and these ones are from Amazon. They are a bookshelf unit. Um, I think they're just really, really good. I do prefer these to the Cavi ones because they're a lot cheaper and you get a lot more. Um, and so, yeah, that's where that is from. And then the Cool Rex is from eBay. Um, and I'm not sure where, but they are from eBay. I got huge sheets. Some had to be, like, stuck together underneath. Um, but, yeah, so that's a little insight on the cages itself. Under here, my boxes are from B&M in the UK. And then I have loads of cleaning things in this one. So I've got a new brush, which is from B&M. I get a lot from B&M. I have my pee pads, which I get from Pound Shop, Poundland. Um, these ones are really, really good. And you get a lot for less. They also don't have anything, um, any like sort of chemicals or anything in them. They're quite good. Um, and I have just a couple of cleaning products in here, basically. Um, I'm not sure what else I've got. Oh, and I've also got their grooming things at the bottom. So things like their shampoo, their ivermectin, um, and just anything like that. It's just sort of a random selection in here. So sort of cleaning and um, all of their grooming products. In here is another cleaning box. Majority of it's cleaning. So this is another dustpan and brush set. This one's just a bit better. This one's a bigger one. Um, I can't remember where I got that from. So I couldn't tell you. I think it might have been Tesco. Um, and then I have a box with their dry food in. We are nearly finished. Which means we are going to go and get some pellets tomorrow. And I can't wait to do that. I have my handheld hoover, which I've not used in a while. Um, I've got its bits that go with it. I've got the charger for it. And um, some pea flakes are in here, but they are pretty much empty. <laughs> and I have my cleaning disinfectant spray. I have coconut oil in here. That is literally all I have. But that's for Darla if she gets dry skin. And then that box is empty. Um, so that one I can basically, I think I'm going to put grooming stuff in there, cleaning stuff along the bottom, and then dialer's stuff in there. So that's my plan. Um, obviously the fairy lights, I'm going to turn them off in a minute. Now I struggle getting back behind here. So my boyfriend has managed to cut out a huge square so that I can reach my hand through and swap the um, plugs, which helps me out a lot. And then I have the pop-up playpen, which I barely use, to be honest. Um, it's just in case one needs to go to the vets and then needs somewhere to stay to recover. That's from Amazon. Um, the seven guinea pigs do not fit in that. Um, otherwise, they are literally, there is no space for them. It's perfect for my three at the top, but that is it. Um... But it's also good for, I just like it for recovery. So if one of them goes to the vets, for example, Dopey was in it for a little bit. Um, and I just find it very helpful. So that is that. Then I have my bin. 
and on top of my bin because my bin doesn't actually stay down fun fact can you tell which guinea pig i have painted here um this was in hobbycraft in the uk and i thought it was quite cool it's on sale so i just got it i thought it's something to do um but yeah guess the guinea pig i wonder which one it is <laughs> um but yeah i don't think i've done too bad to be fair but um yeah, tell me down below what you think. But yeah, so that's my little fancy bin holder. It keeps it all down, um, so that's good. Um, and then I have up in the window, and then I'll show you the cage. So obviously I've got my window, I've got my air purifier, which will go on in a minute. Um, so I do the air purifier in the day, and then at night I switch it to fairy lights, and then back in the day, in the day then I will put this back on. Um, that was from Amazon. I cannot remember, but it's a... Lavoit one, it's a small one. I would like a huge one, but I can't afford it right now um, because Christmas is coming up. So I'm gonna be getting one eventually, but for now I've got that one. And then I have a, um, a what are they called? They're like a diffuser, aren't they? Um, and that one's really nice. It's a Fabulosa one and it's a cherry scent, which I really like um, and it's not too strong um, and it's out of the way of the guinea pig, so that's all good. And then the last thing of the room is um, the top cage. It's a two by seven. Oh. We've got some crazy guinea pigs. Oh, I think Dyla had the zoomers then. Um, and in here, I've got, so I've got two bottles again. Um, ideally, I would like a third bottle for this cage. We will get one eventually. But um, yes, I have two bottles. They are from Pets at Home. I've got the houses from Pets at Home. Um, this guinea pig here is Dopey. He's my neutered boar. Um, you can't really see him because he's hidden, so I'm going to just expose him. <laughs> Sorry, Dopey. Dopey's hiding. We will see him in a minute. So in here, I have Darla. She's my skinny pig. Um, and that is her cuddle sack. She lives in that thing. She literally loves it so much. Um, I've always got to make sure the, the room is warm, so I always have the radiator on on a mild setting. And it keeps the room warm for Darla. Um... And then I've got obviously my fleece liners, which are from Etsy. Yet again, message me if you'd like to know where I got them. My bath mats from Asda. Food bowl. I've got a little chew toy, which is from Pets at Home. Um, they're going to be having more treats and things for Christmas. Um, and from December 1st onwards, we're going to be doing a Christmas decorate in the cage. So stay tuned for that. And they have their fleece corner. Another one of the cuddle sacks are under there. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Then I've decided to put a blanket over the top using my washnet pegs um, to keep it up because they are very, very scared. Like these ones down here do not care. Look at them all, they just don't care. They're so confident I've had them for a while. But these ones are very scared so I've decided to keep them cosy, keep their hay bit out of the way and they have the same hay thing. Um, it's a tray thing with um, a puppy pee pad and then it has loads of hay. So yeah, that is pretty much everything. Um, I I will tr quickly show you the guinea pigs. So I don't know if you can see, we've got um, in here three guinea pigs. So we've got Nala in there, she's a teddy guinea pig. We have Dopey and then the skinny pig Dyla um, and they are the trio of this cage. So yeah, that is everything for this. Now where do I keep my hay? That is the last thing. Um, my hay stays, let me just show you in this cupboard so this is our airing cupboard so in here i don't think you can see very well i have my hay box it says hay on it um <laughs> hay box and then usually all of their fleece stuff just stays on this level um all of it's in the wash at the minute because i've recently cleaned them out so um that's where all of that stuff is but this is where the fleece stuff usually stays a bit of a mess right now needs organizing but yeah that is where the hay box and the fleece stuff stays and then a little bit of an extra thing obviously the room theme is pink and gold so i have a pink and gold light shade really like it and our um, blinds are pink tinted so that is absolutely everything now i'm thinking i want a couple of things on the wall i've seen a few people say to get cage names and things i want that too because i have the perfect amount of um cnc grids to put along there for each of their names so i do want to add just something to do with them um and i do kind of want something on the wall but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm still thinking um and i definitely want something here now i was thinking of moving a mirror so it's a long mirror to along here i think that would look quite nice but obviously i'm still decorating and it won't be anything before christmas 
because I have recently bought some pink and gold decorations for this room for Christmas. Um, I'm so excited to decorate this pig room. It's going to be so exciting. So yeah, that is everything for this video. Um, they are all eating their hay, eating their dry food. Um, the ones up there are just hiding because they're very shy. Oh, speaking of, Darla's coming out. <laughs> but yes thank you guys so much for watching and um i will see you in the next video which will possibly i'm not 100 percent sure but will possibly be the um decorating the guinea pig room for christmas which is going to be so exciting so yeah stay tuned bye guys